The violence went on late into the night. This Muslim Brotherhood building was attacked. President Morsi is a Brotherhood leader, so its national headquarters was singled out. With no police around to protect it, Brotherhood members responded with birdshot, injuring a number of attackers. Across town in Tahrir Square, a huge but peaceful crowd had gathered. Army helicopters made dozens of low-level passes. They were greeted with dozens of laser pointers shone by anti-protesters. But also by roars of approval by those who thought the army was signalling support. Another explanation was the army was simply watching to see what was happening across the country on a tumultuous day. There had been demonstrations in at least 20 towns and cities. There was no mistaking the depth of feeling against the government, which was democratically elected a year ago. There was a huge turnout in Alexandria and another at the presidential palace back in Cairo. The protesters say a petition, signed by they claim 22 million people, gives them the legitimacy to force President Morsi from power. We gave him one year, full one year, and he failed completely to meet our points and our needs. He doesn't understand us. He just wants the Brotherhood to rule Egypt. But Morsi was elected and has three years left in his term of office. If required, he could turn out large numbers of supporters. The army, which just wants stability, knows that if they overthrew him, that would trigger counter-demonstrations. For the moment, the first elected leader in Egypt's 5,000-year history remains in power. To Marshall Sky News, Cairo.